Hello folks, uh, this is Kinky. Uh, restarting, well actually continuing from a previous LP that I had to abandon due to my laptop being down. This is a uh, Fire Emblem uh, for the NES. This was a uh, user translated series. This was a game you know, that came from Japan and it's had uh, at least two to three different uh, remakes to it. I believe one is for the SNES and the other one maybe for the GameCube or something. I'm uh, not sure. But uh, basically, this is, like I said, just me to continue where I left off. Uh, I had to start a new file. And I lost one character uh, that you get like in the first chapter, and he's just a priest. Uh, so it's a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Anyway, as you uh, notice from the mission intro, uh, if you watched my previous videos before, uh, our mission here is to save uh, Renee. And it looks like she found a friend. And, uh, basically, uh, playing this blind, so, and I'm also going to do a true playthrough of this. Uh, in other words, I'm not going to be using save states, if a character dies, he dies, so on and so forth. So, uh, basically, let's get, go ahead and get on with it. Uh... As I said before, the reason why uh, I had to abandon the project was because my laptop died, so uh, I, and I couldn't keep my data. So I figured I would start from scratch and do it from there. Uh, this game has a, a game rival, which is uh, just breed, and uh, it will be videos from that will be played along with this. Uh, so basically, it'll be so many videos of Just Breed with so many videos of Fire Emblem. Uh, but pretty much, they were both made to compete with each other. And uh, I was originally going to do this with no commentary and just play the game, but I noticed that a lot of people didn't seem to either comment about it or didn't really watch it. So, uh, I figured I would just go back to playing games with commentary. Um, also, last, I think it was the last video I did of this series, uh, I spent like one video just getting ar equipment and armor and stuff. Uh, I'm going to edit that part out from now on. I just wanted to show that one part because that's like one of the main problem things with this game is it takes forever to rearm your guys. I could have thought that out a little bit better. And, I, and it's still unfortunately the same system today with buying armor. You have to have your individual unit go one at a time on it. I think it should have been a between chapter sort of thing. but. Anyway, uh, well, we finally met up with our uh, two players, our two new players, uh, Julian, who's a thief, and Rene, who was the goal of this mission to protect. So, at least that's one thing out of the road. But you'll notice that he's that there is a mercenary, uh, three bandits, two thieves, and a bowman after them. So we have to fight them off. So let's go ahead and take a look at who they are. Uh, I'm going to see if I can kind of sneak my way into taking out that bow that uh, bowman with uh, Sheena here. And yes, yes, I know that you're not supposed to use your peg knights versus your uh, enemy bowman, but uh, uh, pretty much that's what I like to do. Because they can take him out if you, if you get an end set right. And now we have to do the protect Martha thing. Basically set our guys up to where it'll go from there. Also, I believe that the uh, mercenary here is a special character, so we can't attack him like normal. 
we have to figure out a way to recruit him. Pretty much, if it's any guy who's not sitting at a castle, uh, castle spot or a siege spot, I think pretty much means that you can recruit him. So you're gonna have to kind of do a protect the character sort of thing, which means you just gotta let him attack you until so you can get to uh, hopefully find the right new person to recruit him. Now, since last chapter had a bunch of Sheena with it, uh, I'm gonna see if uh, Sheena will recruit this other guy as well. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this blind, but I'm just taking a guess. Pretty much it's either Marth or it's uh, Sheena who's been re doing the most recruiting so far, so I think it's gonna be one or the other. And also, I realize that this LP isn't for everybody, uh, but unfortunately, uh, I did have a lot of player requests for this one, uh, but and it was delayed long enough. Anyway, yep, the mercenary was a special character, and it's a mercenary with a kill sword. That actually doesn't sound as scary as it does. <laughs> He's no guy, at least. I said, at least he's not a guy. If he was a guy, well, then then there'd be something to worry about. Uh, for those wondering who guy is, guy is uh, like a mirror, Maiden or something like that, uh, from the uh, newer generation of Fire Emblem games, uh, pretty much. He palled around with a thief named Matthew, and both of them were it was all heck broke loose. Uh, but, um, yeah, you put those two together, and pretty much they can just storm the whole battlefield once they get to their higher levels. So, <laughs> and even then, they, he can pretty much kill anything. That oh, looks like we found the right person. No, now the mercenary joined our side. That was kind of lucky. But now we have to make sure that the bowman doesn't get her. Marth's a little behind on level, so I'm here to kind of work with him. Thieves seem a little bit weak in this game. I don't know why it is. It just, like I said, they're just more there for annoyance and to make sure that you go for the towns. But they have no purpose otherwise. Pretty much, they serve like how the the uh, how the bandits did for the new Fire Emblem games, where they, you know, they destroy the towns. Most of the time, they don't carry anything either. Oh, I already used my javelin character. I dug on it. Oh well. Since we don't need this many people, I'm gonna go ahead and move them back. I thought I had more javelin characters than I did. Also, Rene carries a warp item. Uh, if we caught it during the intro or not, but uh, and I'll, but once I get this battle cleared out, I'll show you what warp does. Let's see, there's warp. Make sure they're out of the way. And uh, this this game only heroes can, or only sorry, only Marth can enter towns for some reason. Everybody else can protect the town; they just can't enter a town. So. Uh, that is some an issue that they fixed, or they they either try to incorporate more lord type characters to uh, be able to enter towns, or they uh, 
made it where characters can enter the towns themselves. But anyway, uh, be right back for the next part. Uh, later.